brothers and sisters, today we have uh, uh, an, another new topic, which is to know Him. I've been reading and meditating on knowing Him. I've been thinking that this is the very the most important topic, to know Him. Uh, you remember Jesus, as He was praying for His disciples, He said, they may know Him. Uh, he said life eternal what I meant in uh, John 17 verse 3 I keep going back to it because life eternal is to know him to know God and Jesus Christ Jesus defined it that way I think it's a very good definition and we may be distracted thinking life eternal is when and somebody dies now he goes he, he reached the life eternal life eternal is once you accept jesus christ you get into life eternal and life eternal in reality is to know him what do you do after accepting jesus christ are you just sitting there saying i'm done i know if you do that then you you you, you will be uh, well, you have life eternal because you accept Jesus. So whoever confesses his mouth that uh, Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in his heart that Jesus Christ uh, resurrected from the dead, that person is saved. So if you confess that, you are saved. But don't be distracted because you need to know. The Apostle Paul said, it's in, 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 still in the uh, we talk about the, uh, we have to it's, it's talk about Roman 12 uh, Roman chapter 12 verse 1 2 who say that we, we, we have to work on it we have to read we have to learn what we what, what we're reading meditate in it so to, to be effective hmm. You know what it said. It said, "Don't be." Uh, it said, let, "Let me let me read uh, Roman twelve, just to make sure we are on the same uh, same spot." In Roman twelve, all right. Very quick. I didn't prepare that one. Uh, just one said, "Don't be conformed." Uh, Roman twelve, and we're gonna read that very quick, just to make sure we all on uh, on the same on, on the same. Uh, in the same page so in Roman 12 Roman chapter 12 verse 1 and 2 it said that uh, I beseech you therefore brothers by the mercies of God that you present your body a living sacrifice holy acceptable to God which is your reasonable service now the second one which I thought that's what I got put my mind to tell you is in, and be not conformed be not be and be not conformed and, and be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is what is that good and acceptable and the perfect will of God renewing your mind you accept jesus christ but you still have to renew your mind you know as being uh, as being a spirit hmm? being spirit we we're having a soul and living in a body we have to renew our mind we have to work so that the spirit okay, the, the, the our soul can know what's going on in the spirit it's true that we accept Jesus Christ, we are transformed, we are new creature, but we still have to work on working on our, our soul to be transformed. We have to renew our mind. So, this said, we have to learn to know who Jesus Christ is. We have to learn to know who God is. He said to know him. So the main ch chapter today we're reading is... Uh, it's uh, uh, Philippians chapter 3, verse, verse 10. It said, That I may know him. That's the Apostle Paul saying, That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death. 
if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. But what enticed me to, uh, today as I was talking to you is to know him. Do you know him? Do you really have to know him? Jesus himself being the son of God, Jesus himself being the third uh, person in God, he said that I do nothing without my father. Everything I do, my father is involved. So you know, I have to know him. In the law of thinking about all those things, I think, I think about how he tells us that my sheep hear my voice. When you accept Jesus, you have, you accept Jesus, so when you accept him, he comes and he lives in you. Jesus talks to you, he talks to you day and night. If you don't know him, you miss the message. He tells us, he gives us information, he wants us to succeed. He becomes, he, he, he becomes part of us. And he gives us the key. If my word is in you, and you, if you obey my word, I'll come and live in you. I'll come with my Father who will live in you. So that's exactly what Jesus promised us. How can we make sure we know him? The Apostle Paul, I, I, with all the knowledge he has, he said that, that I may know him and the power of his resur resurrection. So knowing God remained a very important uh, part of a Christian. Thinking about that verse, I think about all those uh, time of the Old Testament, how people who were very, uh, who could even walk with God, uh, were struggling, they, they, they stumbling of knowing God. But the Bible tells us when Jesus came, according to, to I think it's First John, it was telling us that uh, when Jesus comes, he revealed, he revealed God. He told, he, he he showed God to us. We are, we are not, and we, we even understand who God is today in a very clear way because of Jesus Christ. Without knowing Jesus Christ, you have no way to go to heaven, Jesus himself said. Without Jesus Christ, you don't have that eternal life, it said. So it remains very important to know Jesus. To know him. To know him. Some people trying to bypass Jesus. They say, well, we want to go, we, we want to know God. Philip tried that too. Philip is that person. said, Jesus, so Jesus, show us the Father. Jesus said, I've been with you all this time. Philip, you don't know me. It sounds confusing, but the reality is that Jesus represented God is going to present God. So remember John 1 1 explained that in a very easy way that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Meditate on that. Try to think about it deeply and you will come to conclusion. So knowing God have to be your focus in life. Because that's really being a Christian. Otherwise, you'll be, you, you, you be a Christian, but really missing, missing out what is real, being a real Christian. Missing the enjoyment of being a Christian. So knowing God has to be your OM, all of us. Somebody say that God is just, it's just, it's just too big, too large. And most of us know probably, it's just like uh, being a, uh, we are probably ants, and then comparing to God, God is too large. We see a little piece of it, of who God is. We don't know. It's just like an elephant versus a very tiny uh, ant, and then just see that little piece. You have to turn the other side to see the other piece, and you can't see the whole thing. You have to stand far away to see the whole part. The closer you become, you come, the difficulty you have. To really see who God is. 
But that's become more interesting because uh, through your lifetime, you have a lot to learn. Don't be distracted just sitting there doing nothing. And you ask me, brother, I really want to know God, but how can I do it? Read your word. Read the Bible. Meditate on the word. Don't let go. Because your meditation will help you to clarify all those parts which are dark, the dark places will be clarified little, little by little, step by step, uh, one, one step at a time. The Holy Spirit came in us as we accept Jesus Christ and we, it, 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 the Holy Spirit explained to us things little by little. Day after day, I was a Christian for, I've been a Christian for years. I, every single day I learn, I, make, I get excited all the time. I'm wondering, wow, my God, I didn't know this. Things I know today, things I knew years ago. If, if I think about all those years past and say, my Lord, I wasted a lot of time. But if they think about it, they say, well, I've been meditating the Word of God since I was in the elementary school. I'm still learning today. Don't be distracted. Some people are too distracted. They say, well, I'm born in a Christian family. I've been reading the Bible for a long time. I know the Bible. You don't know. The Bible has to be read daily. People who knew the Bible, knew the Word of God, even like the, uh, King David, I, I believe is the one who is presenting us, uh, if I'm not mistaken, at least chapter 1, uh, the, the, whoever wrote that chapter is uh, telling us that, Blessed is the man who doesn't work in the uh, company of the wicked, who doesn't sit in the company of... Uh, uh, the mockers, all those things, but he meditated the word of God day and night. Daily. Daily is what you have to do. Meditate the word of God. Don't be tired. Get one sentence, read it. Read a chapter every day. Do something. If you are too tired, read just a sentence. Even just one word, meditating, the Holy Spirit will quicken something in you. So brothers and sisters, I mean, I didn't think I would go that far in the knowing God. It's a very interesting chapter. I didn't even read, oh, I, I prepared too many uh, chapters and verses but I noticed that we have, there is a lot of things to do here just to talk about. Because I feel like we, we sometimes get distracted and think we don't have much to learn anymore. But God is telling you through me that we have a lot to learn knowing God the Apostle Paul is saying that him who wrote a lot of books who did that is saying that I may know him and the power of his resurrection read the Word of God learn know him you may know him in listening to others listening to me listening to the, the preachers you love, you like how they preach and so on, but focus on knowing God. I've been thinking about it as I was thinking about talking about this. Uh, the, uh, the Lord put in my mind again and say, How did the children of Israel miss God? God came in form of His Son and He was born uh, in Bethlehem. He did all those things, they missed Him. They didn't think he, he was, he was going to come that way. They, but it's written here and there. Jesus himself struggled to explain. You have to know God. You don't want to miss him. Know God. If you get familiar to him, when he's talking to him, when he's talking to us, we know it's him. We know the difference between the devil talking. And some people hear the devil. Work on listening to God. That's what you want. Because God is your life. The Bible puts it together in, in, in saying that uh, knowing God, that's life eternal. John 17, 3. 
knowing God that's life eternal. Someone said the the commandment of God, obeying it, it's having life. So you have life as you obey the word of God, as you're learning, as you listen to it. The Lord will help you, the Holy Spirit will help you to implement it. Don't get tired. You may fall. You may be distracted. Something will come to you. Please, my brother, my sister, don't let go. Go back and read. The Bible is ours. Read it. Read it. Learn. Don't be distracted. Sometimes we are too busy working and studying and doing other stuff we are we we call to do we we are important to us but don't forget the call feed your soul feed your soul i love that when the, the king david talk about his soul he said my soul why are you don't cast inside myself my my soul don't be distracted don't be tired you are my soul my soul and say i will yet Praise Him. I will praise Him. I don't care how you feel. Believe in God. I will praise Him. He's talking to Himself. That's the way we have to go. Continue working with God. Continue knowing Him because God loves you. If you miss that, you may think God is your enemy. You may think God did something. The devil will put in your mind something negative, thinking this is God. No, no God. Work on knowing God. Don't miss it. Job loved God. He's, he loved God a lot. And when you see what he saw, what he went through, he's talking about God. He said he didn't insult God. He's still confused. And at the end, he said, My ears. He heard about you. Today I see you. So knowing God is very capital. You don't want to miss God. Know your God. Work on knowing Him. Read and have the mind directed of knowing Him. Talk to your God. Listen to Him. Do your best to know your God. Don't waste the time on, oh Lord, give me this, give me that. Oh Lord, uh, Lord, Lord, look what's going on. Passed a lot of time trying to know him. The Apostle Paul said, as we read in Philipp Philippians 3, verse 10. He said, that I may know him in the power of his resurrection. Let's know God. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for my brothers and my sisters who are listening. I don't know which person with who, who, which person has a really need this message. I believe we all need the message. Maybe somebody specific need the message, and I pray that the Holy Spirit will quicken this message in you, and you understand it's been better. I pray that all of us who come to know God and apply this in our life don't let don't be tired lord help us help us to be able to apply it help us to remove the weakness which comes somehow to catch our body in one way or another i speak life in our body i speak strength and capacity to read your word day and day in the name of jesus christ i pray Amen. I'm looking forward to talking to you again. I feel like I'm just coming back to all those verses I put and talk, talk about them and try to understand more about knowing God. Bless you and see you soon.